Welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Oh my god, it's a 12 string jazz master. Pedal show, my name is Gabor. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, gonna check out this squire 12 string jazz master. Yes, jazz uh, master today. 12. Uh, please hit like and subscribe on the video. Give us a thumbs up, ding the bell, comments please below. Do. What do you think? Yes, and this was uh, sent to us by the lovely, lovely people at Fender slash Squire Australia. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. Yeah. So, Alex. Tell us some facts, man. This is the Jazzmaster 12 from the 2023 Paranormal series, uh, which all up, I think is quite a cool series. I mm. quite enjoyed all of the guitars. Um, now, this is probably along my favorites i said it with actually a couple of them but yeah this is probably i think so if i were to, you're if, lying at some point no well if i were to keep one yeah i think if i could only keep one this is probably the one i could keep um if it was two it was probably that and a stratosonic but different story so this is a uh uh jazz master 12 in lovely lovely lake placid blue uh with uh, mint pickguard and white uh, pickups. It just looks great. To me, if there was one thing yeah. it, that they could have done to make it even more jaw-droppingly awesome looking, <laughs> like my jaw would be on the floor right now. Yeah, yeah. It would be very hard to understand what I'm saying. Continue. Let's make the headstock ah, blue. blue like headstock. Matching headstock. Uh, it does come in Olympic white as well. But I do, I love that blue. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Uh, now let's do some specs, hey? Maple neck and a Akumi? Well, well, no, it's not Akumi. Akumi is, a, is a, the other guitars. Ah. So this is a nice. poplar body. Excellent. Uh, with a polyurethane finish. Maple neck with a laurel fretboard. A laurel. Uh, C-shaped 25.5 inch uh, scale length with a nine and a half inch radio, radius. Uh, 21 frets uh, and a narrow and tall. It's got a synthetic bone nut, which is 1.6875. Which comes from a synthetic cow. It comes from a synthetic cow hey. bone, yeah. Um, and it's got a graphite reinforced neck, uh, I guess for the extra string tension for the extra for the strings. Extra strings. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, the Fender designed Alnico uh, Jazzmaster single coil pickups, yeah. uh, vintage style tuning heads, uh, and it's got this sort of hybrid, um, hybrid through body and through neck uh, uh, string loading thing. So whether the, oh, yes. the 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 six normal strings, like the wound strings, go through the body, and the, the six of those, the thinner strings, the second st strings go through the front. Through the back. Yeah. some clean tones yes and then we'll do not clean tones yes Position. I think we got here a while ago, but yeah. yeah. There was no idea. Um, that's middle position. Do we go to the bridge? Tone, isn't it? It's kind of fat and honky at the same time. Yeah. Funky. <laughs> Neck Funky. position. <laughs> Thank you. 
It looks like a bin mill octave. Here we go. Let's do some. Let's do some uh, slightly drooping sounds. Some pedals on the floor from our Aussie board. Yes, uh, one of our Aussie boards. Uh, now let's go. Let's not go overboard with sort of medium drive. It just has an interesting sound to it. Now I never thought I liked. I would or I would would want a twelve string electric guitar yeah. until I played this, and then I went, oh, you know what? I really like. There's it. so many co- co- um, like associations with like sixties folk pop stuff. Yeah, the twelve string. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Sorry. It doesn't have to be though. No, no, you can do whatever you want with it. You can do. I mean, we could go. Or you cannot do that. (laughs) No, but I mean, you don't have to just play clean, jangly, you know, 60s style. Or the, you know, the... That was kind of wrong chord, but I don't want to play particular songs that play a 12 string that will impeach... Impeach? Breach copyright rules. Those kind of songs, if you know what I mean. All right, let's do a bit more drive again with the um, middle position. And a bit of delay. It's just, it's cool. I mean, you can do that sort of arpeggiated. uh, um. I actually would quite like the sound of a 12 string. It's 
<laughs> it's hard to bend the strings yeah. the time. Alex, um, I like the combo of colors. I like the uh, fit and finish. Um, Pickups sound good. A nice balance between highs and lows. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the simplicity of the controls because I don't think you need a full jazz master like tone stack thingy. No, for the twelve string, you don't. There's either. so much going on with yeah. the actual guitar. Yeah, they're just volumes. I mean, how cool would a tram have been though? But, oh um, man. Try and make that Do they thing. make a 12 string? Does anyone make a 12 string? Maybe you trim. Trim only on the octave strings. Ooh, oh, oh, either <laughs> or, whichever ones you put through there. Only one of the strings. Yeah. Wow, that would be interesting. <laughs> it, yeah. could, it could be very bad too. It could be horrible. Um, let us know, does anyone make a bridge that's a floating or trem bridge mm. for a 12 string? Let us know in the comments below. Floyd. Floyd. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Gotta love those 12 string dive bombs <laughs> in the middle of folk songs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sunshine, lovely. So, what do you think? <laughs> you obviously dig it. Uh, I really like, like I said, I didn't think I was going to like a, an electric 12 string. I never thought I would ever have a, a, a hankering, hankering to buy an electric 12 string, but mm. um, I do like this. I don't know if, if I can give this back. Okay. Um, Just run away, change your address. Yeah, change your name, change your address. Um, no, I like it. I think it looks great. I think the 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 the, qu the quality is good. I mean, I, none of the guitars we were sent have any flaws with the paint. Uh, the neck pocket looks well cut. Um, it, with this as well, the they feel knobs feel good in your hand. Not, they feel like su the substantial pots. Mm. Um, there's a bit of weight there. Also, which you rarely see with, I guess they're not necessarily budget guitars because they are sure. in Australia around that sort of close to, close to a $1,000 mark and this particular model and I guess sort of five 600 whatever it is in, in the US. Screwed on. Oh, yeah. It's got a, Didn't even see that. They're, they're not just stuck on. They've got a little screw on it. Yeah. Um, it's got, yeah, interesting bridge. Um, it's got this kind of interesting kind of string tree kind of thing here that, is not for the two E strings, but all the other strings. Sure. Um, I guess there's enough. That there's break enough angle break angle for them. Good. Yeah. Um, I think it's a cool guitar. Like I said, the one thing, if there's one thing, being a superficial brick that I am, um, if the headstock would be the same, matching headstock would be just wow. It's like eight bucks for a can of spray paint. Knock yourself out. Hey, go, go, go and see Robbo. And what, what do you guys think? Do you dig the 12 string? In Lake Placid Blue. Or the white one, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, okay. yeah, I, I really like it. Let us know below. Uh, thanks again for, to Squire slash, slash Friend Australia. Two oh. slashes. Slashes. Slash slash Friend Australia. Sure. <laughs> Two slashes. <laughs> for hooking us up with some fun guitars to check yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, thanks for hanging. We shall see you all soon on the internet. See you on the next one. <laughs>